In this brief demonstration, I will highlight some of the new features in S2K Enterprise Release 6.1 developed by VAI. VAI is a leading independent mid-market software developer renowned for its flexible solutions for the wholesale distribution, manufacturing, retail, and service sectors. S2K Enterprise Release 6.1 leverages built-in analytics, business intelligence, mobility, and cloud technology to help customers make more informed business decisions and to empower their mobile workforce. As you can see, S2K is browser-based. One of the benefits of this browser interface is that it allows VAI to deploy a true cloud-based solution. As more and more businesses adopt tools such as smartphones and tablets, the ability to host data in the cloud and access it from just about anywhere on the planet, on any device with a browser, is quickly becoming vital. For this demonstration, I'm going to maximize my screen and hide the URL toolbar. S2K Enterprise supports multiple companies, multiple locations, and multi-currencies. When the user signs on, the system will prompt the user to select the company, and the system will personalize that user's home page based on their role in the company. As you can see here, I'm signed on in the sales and marketing role, and the screen is showing KPIs related to company sales. What's really great about these home pages is that when a user signs on, they have immediate access to the important information they need so they can be more productive and react to business issues faster. With 6.1, we've redesigned the KPIs to be more user friendly. You can now sort any column in the KPI. You can resize the columns to any size you'd like. You also can move columns around. So it's very, very flexible in, in designing the KPIs to fit your screen and to give you the information that you want to see. So let's take a look at some of the other roles that are available. If I was in accounts receivable, I might see a screen that looks like this where I'm looking at the company aging, I'm looking at customers over their credit line, I'm looking at customers with a high balance, credits that were entered today. And again, this information is immediately updated from the back office S2K Enterprise ERP system. If I was in inventory control, I might see a screen that looks like this, where I'm looking at things like dead stock, looking at inventory value by product division and class, looking at inventory below its order point, inventory value by ABCD ranking, PO scheduled to arrive. So again, this information really um, it can help your users be much more productive and react to business issues faster. The other nice thing about the home page is it allows you to view tasks and alerts. Tasks are user-defined to-dos that you can set up. You can set up a to-do for yourself or for any other employee in the company and those tasks will show up on their screen. Alerts are system generated and VAI has over 200 alerts that you can set that you want to be notified when a specific condition occurs. So you can see I am being notified about customers over their credit limit, customers that place a large order, or when a customer order is shipped. Those alerts can be sent to your email as well as SMS text message to your phone. So let's return to the sales and marketing role and look at some of the other features that are available in S2K Enterprise. One of the nice things that we have off the home page are bookmarks. Bookmarks can be any data that you'd like to see from an external web link. So it can be a web page, maybe from a vendor or from an external company that you do business with. These bookmarks can also be links to external dashboards in S2K Analytics. So as you can see, I have some links here set up that I would like to see these dashboards right from my home page in S2K. So if I click on Customer Analysis Dashboard, the system is immediately going to take me to that dashboard in S2K Analytics and display the data that's being pulled directly from S2K Enterprise. With S2K Analytics, we've enhanced the dashboards and added more dashboards and reports for the end users. You can see the graphics have been greatly enhanced, and we also add a lot, added a lot more parameters for users to sort data by year, quarter, month, so that the dashboards are very interactive with the data in S2K Enterprise. 
Another nice thing about the new dashboards is that they have embedded AI so that as you can see here the system will automatically provide insights to the data that you're looking at. You can see it calculated an average sales as well as there is a meaningful difference found on this graphic. The meaningful difference is that the value of net sales is most unusual in January, February, and September. One of the unique features in SDK Enterprise is its deep use of analytics. One of the new tools we've added to SDK Enterprise Release 6.1 is Health Check. To access Health Check, simply click on the Health Check icon on the left-hand side. With S2K Health Check, we are monitoring key data and metrics over inventory, purchasing, and warehouse operations. On the Inventory tab, users can analyze key metrics like excess inventory, dead stock inventory, and inventory value. They also can look at these metrics over time to see how well they're performing. On this graphic here, I can switch to a dead stock inventory chart to see how my dead stock inventory is declining over time. On the right hand side, I can see how that data affects my fill rates with my customers. Returning to the S2K homepage, one of the nice applications that we offer in the S2K Enterprise Suite is our S2K Salesforce CRM system. And it utilizes the same homepage concept that you see here. The difference is, is that when you sign on as a Salesforce user, your homepage is going to be specifically designed for the data that's related to you as a sales representative. So when you're looking at some of the KPIs here, you're going to see uh, customer rankings, but only the customers that are assigned to you. You're going to be looking at things like open orders, but only the orders where you are the sales rep. Okay, so the whole KPI system is now filtered just for the sales rep that you're signed on. We also do have specific KPIs for sales managers. So if I was a sales manager, and I was signing on, I might see something like this where the KPIs are going to be pre-filtered for my sales team. So when I'm looking at a screen like this, I'm going to see all the customers that are either assigned to me or any member of my team. Same thing with the customer ranking. I'm going to be looking at my entire team's customers ranked in a KPI. Okay, So you can drag any one of those onto your screen, whether you're a sales representative or a sales manager. One of the unique functions of S2K Salesforce is that it was built for the supply chain representative. It combines a powerful contact management system with real-time data access to the ERP system. With this, sales representatives have access to sales analysis data, marketing data, customer information, and item information. The S2K contact management system tracks and records every stage in the sales process for each prospective client, from initial contact to final disposition. In the CRM application, sales representatives can look up their leads and see all the leads and prospects that have been assigned to them. It's easy to see how many days it's been since they last contacted that potential client. Sales representatives can also look up their customer accounts and see all the customers that have been assigned to them. Again, easy to see how many days it's been since last contact with that customer. From the customer card, sales representatives can see open activities for that account, notes, attachments, contact information, opportunity information, and case information. With S2K release 6.1, the activity history screen not only shows all the interactions with the sales representative, but it also shows them any marketing information they have consumed from S2K Marketing Cloud, as well as orders and transactions they have placed in S2K ERP. Returning to the S2K homepage, 
there are many different ways that users can access the ERP system. From the hamburger menu, users can click on S2K Enterprise and access the full suite of applications available in S2K Enterprise. Using the menu tree, users can access things like file maintenance, daily transaction, inquiry, reports, and so on. Users also have the ability to click on any application and set them as a favorite that they like to access quickly. Favorites appear on the star menu and allow users to quickly get to the applications they use most often. With S2K, users can use tabs to access and open multiple programs at the same time. Another way a user can access the S2K Enterprise system is through the My S2K menu. The My S2K menu is a customized menu designed for the user's role within the company. The user can then customize these menus by hiding options they don't use or reordering the options to fit specific daily tasks. Let's return to the S2K Enterprise full menu and look at some of the new capabilities in S2K Enterprise Release 6.1. As companies grow, many organizations find themselves with disconnected databases and external spreadsheets to support their requirements. This type of environment involves data redundancy and a lack of data consistency and a significant manual intervention needed to create meaningful reports. VAI offers a completely integrated ERP solution utilizing one central database. With this powerful solution, you can update records one time with no more duplicate entries, file copying, or dealing with integration issues. As you can see, the S2K application suite includes a financial management suite, a distribution management suite, a manufacturing suite, a CRM application, a warehouse manager application, a retail point of sale application, an application for service and repair billing, an equipment rental management application. All these applications share a single database and include built-in analytics and dashboards and interface with our e-commerce and mobile suite. For this demonstration, I'm going to concentrate on some of the new features that are available in S2K Enterprise Release 6.1 and show you some basic transactions and some of the workflow in the application. So VAI continues to enhance our software using enhanced grids. So enhanced grids are located uh, you know, all over the system throughout many of the applications. And one of the nice things about the enhanced grids is that it allows the user to customize the grid based on their requirements. So users can actually hide the columns that they don't want to see. They can also you know, resize the columns to fit you know, data. Okay, And they also can move fields around to you know, you know, put different uh, columns in different places. So the um, once the user customizes the, the grid, that grid is saved for the user profile. So if I go back into that program, you'll see I'm going to see it the way I saved it. You know, so this is really nice. There are a lot of grids throughout the system, and it really helps you put the fields that would help make your job a lot easier exactly where you need them. Okay, users can also go back to the uh, default if they hit the reset all. Okay, so the other thing that we continue to do and enhance on is the managerial screens. So every application has a management screen. Uh, there's an application, in, you know, in AR for AR manager, AP manager, inventory manager, warehouse manager, purchasing manager, and what these management screens are are, are a consolidation of all the data, if you would, in that module. So as an example here, I'm looking at you know an aging right on the screen in accounts receivable and I can sort it low to high or high to low using the column sorts but from here I can go to anywhere I need to go so um, once again you can see this is an enhanced grid right so if I wanted to move phone number over here so use you know use the screen to make calls I could okay so I can just you know click on the account you know any of these accounts and then jump over to customer inquiry and uh, it'll take me right to customer inquiry 
Uh, I can see what I need to see about the account. I can look up open AR, AR history. I can look up check history, sales history, whatever I need to see. And then I could go back to my uh, you know, management screen. So some of the new features in S2K release 6.1 is we have enhanced the graphics. So on some of these screens, you're going to see new buttons and new inquiries. Here's one called year-to-year -year comparison. And you can see that it's uh, a nice screen with a nice graph, and it shows you know, sales and profit over the last three years. Okay? The other thing that we've added in release 6.1 is the use of embedded analytics. So on the screen where you see this icon, that means there are embedded analytics that are related to whatever you know, program you're in. So in this case, I'm in the customer inquiry. So these are analytics that are related to the customer. Okay, and what's nice about this screen is when I click on that uh, analytic to run it, it will populate the customer number into the report or the dashboard for me so that I am looking at that analytic um, dashboard or report that's specific just for that customer. So you can see this is a customer scorecard and it you know populated that customer's information and you can see some of the things I'm seeing here. Uh, top items they buy, top divisions and classes, you know, top uh, you know sales for their locations, uh, a rolling 12 months. So you know I have a, a lot of nice data on the screen here. Returning to the customer inquiry screen, there are some other nice features available in release 6.1. One of them is the new browser-based folder system where users can add documents and attach them to a customer or an item or a vendor or an order and do it through a browser-based interface that you know, doesn't allow them to access the shared drive on the server. So from here, they can you know, create subfolders, add documents, they can view a document. So it's a nice place to store things like a credit application on a customer. On the item side, maybe spec sheets or images related to the item. So to, you simply just click the view option here and it will display you know, that document that's in that folder. Okay, some other things that you have over in accounts payable, we've added the ability to do credit card payment processing. So you have the ability now to uh, go into credit card payment processing uh, choose bills that you want to pay by credit card and then you know transact those and, and have it hit general ledger that you've paid those bills with a credit card okay we've also added some nice capabilities in here for document scanning uh, through our partnership with help systems we can now do a AP, AP invoice document import where you would scan a import document uh, maybe a vendor invoice and that would match up against our accrual file and then that document and invoice voucher would go directly into accounts payable. Okay, Some other things you have, let's take a look at customer orders and let's just do a quick demo of the order entry workflow and some of the new features in here. So customer orders is a nice application where you can enter customer orders. Um, let's just grab any customer off this list Okay, this is a nice feature showing you existing orders that haven't shipped yet. Uh, in that case, in that customer's case, they didn't have any. All right, so if they did, you could add to the shipment versus creating a new order. Uh, when you hit enter, all the system uh, information is filled out. Customer messages pop up about that individual customer. If anything's in man mandatory, it's going to highlight here for you. So in this case, the PO is mandatory. System will check for duplicates at this time. Some of the new features are things like campaign tracking, where you can attach this order to a campaign um, so that you know how effective your campaign was. Also, opportunity tracking. If this was a, a quote or an order or anything, you could attach it to an opportunity and track you know, the types of transactions that are attached to an opportunity in CRM. Okay, Hitting accept is going to bring up your current promotions window. So this is a nice feature that you can turn on or off and it's basically showing the customer service representative any items that might be on promo right now. Okay, so and they can order right from this screen if need be. Moving over to the detailed lines, there are many ways to enter an order. 
You can uh, enter an order where you enter the item information on the bottom and it carries it to the top. Okay. You can enter an order through a, um, a quick entry mode. We call it rapid entry where if you were getting a fax or an email of an order and you just want to quickly enter in quantity and an item number, uh, you can enter it on this screen very easily. You can also enter an item uh, through a shopping list. So if you click on shopping list here, this is going to be what the customer normally buys from you. And you can just, you know, add your orders and, uh, you know, add your items right from the shopping list. Another option would be to add uh, the orders through from an order guide. So you can create an unlimited level of order guides, okay? And you can also build your orders, you know, from an order guide. Okay, for our demonstration, let's just do just a quick entry of an item on an order. So let's say the, the um, customer wanted 10, and I don't know the item number, but I know it's ink. All I have to do is type in that description, hit enter, and our system is going to do what we call a global search across the items and find ink anywhere in the description or item number or manufacturer's number. So these are the different options that I have with ink. Okay. I'm just going to grab uh, any one of these here. Okay. And the system will return the image and the item. And if it looks good, uh, I can just hit enter. Uh, these fields, some of these fields can also be hidden where I can hide cost and gross profit if I don't want to see them. And you can see the item carries to the top. Okay. Other capabilities that are built into our system here, uh, the ability to check sales history. So if I wanted to see uh, an invoice uh, from the past, I can click sales history and this will sequence with his most recent invoice first. I can uh, go into that invoice if I want to. Um, this invoice had a promotional reward on it. So it's asking me for a password to, uh, to continue. Let me use the next one here. Okay, so I can see what they bought in the past and what price was paid, and I can even you know copy from the invoice over to um, the order if need be. All right, so let's end this order. Okay, some of the also some of the other things that we've added in S2K release 6.1 is the integration of both Vertex and Avatax for Avalara for tax. Okay, so the system will send this data out to those taxing calculation programs and will automatically calculate the tax for you if you're using Avatax or Vertex. Okay, some of the other enhancements over in inventory management. Uh, we now have the ability to handle consignment uh, warehouse locations. So as an example, uh, you can flag any location that you'd like as a consignment location. And basically how things are handled here is you can transfer inventory into that location. And then simply by doing a physical count, it'll know the difference between how much inventory was in there and how much you counted. And then automatically it will bill the customer that you assign to this consignment location for the difference between what you had put into that location and what you counted. Okay. Some other things that we have available are some new features in warehouse management. So warehouse management is a great application for keeping track of all the inventory that's in every single bin in your warehouse. Some of the new things are we've enhanced the route manager where you can organize your truck routes and and uh, organize your shipments very quickly and easily in the route manager program. We've added some additional RF inquiries on the guns, uh, on the RF guns, so users can look up products, see what bin they're on, uh, make uh, some even uh, add new UPC codes and things like that in the WMS system. Uh, we also added in the uh, transfer program the ability to not only do warehouse transfers, but to um, merge multiple transfers. So let's say you, you, you had two transfers going to the same location. You can click on them. So let's click on this and this and, and say, these two, I want to merge. Okay, so you can actually uh, put them together into one transfer. 
so that you can send out one truck with all the items going to that same location. Okay. Some of the other uh, new features are over in General Ledger, uh, in the chart of accounts. We've enhanced our allocation option so that in here you can set your allocations. Um, you know, how do you want to allocate? Is it based on a percentage uh, or a unit? A unit can be things like number of employees per location or sales dollars per location or uh, square foot, uh, whatever you'd like. Uh, how often do you want to allocate as soon as a, an entry is made to this or monthly? And then you can set your allocation uh, re, you know, method here. Okay, and how, what accounts do you want to uh, put anything that hits this account across? And uh, that's what it's going to do. Okay, so some nice features in General Ledger. The other thing that we continue to enhance in General Ledger is the report writer. Okay, so in S2K Analytics, we now created a full financial report writer where you can not only create your own financial statements, but we also deliver the financial statements through the analytic um, you know, GL report writer. What's nice about the report writer is that it's going to go out and actually build the financial report and give you complete drill down to book of original entry. Okay, so if I wanted to do it for maybe just one profit center, and let's do it in detail here, and I click finish, it's going to go out and grab the data and show me a financial statement for that profit center, and I have complete drill down off of this report to the additional data that made up that entry. Okay, returning to the S2K enterprise system. All right, some, other than, some, some of the other new things that we have available to you are um, data uploads. So in General Ledger, you have some nice options here to upload uh, a journal entry or a budget into the system. So if you do your journal entries in an Excel spreadsheet and then just want to upload them, you can. Um, there are uploads throughout the entire package. So there are uploads in General Ledger. There are uploads in manufacturing for a bill of material. There are uploads in the uh, pricing area for um, vendor price lists. Okay, so there's a um, vendor cost change uploads here that can be done. So there's a lot of different uploads that you can have in S2K release 6.1. Okay, some of the other things that are available, um, the new pricing, buy one, get one free. So over in uh, customer orders, file maintenance, we have a new uh, custom pricing option called promotional, uh, where is it here? Promotional items, let's find it. Oh yeah, promotional programs. Okay, so in the promotional programs application here, uh, you can set up a new promo. And basically what this is, is a buy anything, get anything for free. So it's a buy X, get Y. It doesn't necessarily have to be buy an item, get an item. Okay, so there's a prerequisite to, that you have to hit, and then there's a reward. And let me just show you what I mean by that. So if I say, what is this uh, prerequisite? You're going to see that the prerequisite can be an item, but it really can be, you know, buy something in this division or this division class or buy something and hit a certain gross profit percent or amount. You know, buy a certain quantity, buy, you know, have, buy this, but hit a certain order amount total or uh, just have hit an order amount total. So there's a lot of flexibility here in what to buy. Also, this A and O means and or. So you can actually say, well, buy this and this, and I'll give you a promo. Or buy this or this, and I'll give you a promo. So it's a very, very flexible design. Uh, the reward can also be multiple things. So if you look at what the reward is, it's the same concept. could be a gift item where you buy one, get one free. Or you could be a, a coupon that we send out to you. Or a line discount that you get on that line. Uh, could be an order, uh, an order discount. So there's a lot of different things. And, and, and here as well, it can be an and or an or, where you can choose from a discount or a free item, uh, and the, the user will be prompted during order entry. 
So what's nice about this uh, you know, promotional program is that it's available in wholesale order entry, retail order entry, and also to be used on the web in the e-commerce module. Okay, some of the other things that are available that are new in 6.1 is we continue to enhance our suggested purchasing system. So there are a lot of new capabilities in the suggested purchasing system. This is a great application that uses very, very heavy formulas and analytics to help your buyers understand what they need to buy. So your buyer would come into this screen and just get a, a list of vendors that they need to buy from. They would show them you know, how many items right now from that vendor are below their order point, uh, are any on back order and then basically the user would drill into this okay see any vendor messages that might be applicable and then this would show this screen would show the uh, purchaser exactly what items need to, to be purchased and what quantities the, you know the system is suggesting okay so this is a very very elaborate system uh, it also uh, you know takes a very long time to demonstrate and show you all the capabilities that it has but some of the new things that we do in suggested purchasing is that we now added features to support requirements like look ahead days. So what look ahead days is, is when the system is actually creating this suggestion, okay, back here, you can say, um, I, want, I don't want to include purchase orders that are coming in that might be um, being shipped overseas, okay? So maybe you have a big purchase that's coming in overseas and that's going to take, you know, 90 days to come in. And what you could say is, you know, I don't want to do that. I just want to uh, look out in the immediate future to see uh, if there is any requirements for right now that maybe I can buy domestically. Okay, so that's one of the features, the look ahead days. Uh, another feature that we added to suggested purchasing was the forward buying option. So what this is, is that when you're looking at the details here, if any of these items, let's grab one of these items and bring it to the bottom, okay? If any of these items uh, need to be purchased and the vendor says, well, we're going to have a price increase or I can offer you some kind of discount, okay? Um, you can put that price increase in, it could be a dollar or a percentage, and the system, let's say we know it's a 10% increase. Right? And what's going to happen is the system's going to look at the bell-shaped curve and say, well, based on that, here's your optimum quantity to buy. This is the optimum quantity to buy before the net savings starts to go down based on your carrying cost. Okay, So that's a nice feature in the, the suggested purchasing system. The other thing that I happen to like, and this is a standard feature that's been around a long time, um, is the target buys. So in the suggested purchasing system, you can have the system create a purchase order based on a target you're trying to hit. That target can be a dollar amount, a weight, a cube, a pallet, you know, number of pallets or number of units. So in this case scenario, my suggested purchasing uh, purchase order is about 59000 If I said, well, the vendor will give me a special deal if I uh, you know, get that to 75000 Okay, I just have to put my target in. And then what the system will do is say, okay, based on that target, here was the original purchaser order requirement. Here's what you now should buy. Okay, here's the additional. So I didn't need any of these, but now to hit that target, this is what the new suggestion would be. Okay, and I can accept this target buy or I can go back to the uh, original purchase order. Okay, one of the other nice features that we've added in purchasing is the PO truck uh dashboard if you would. So what this is, it allows you to schedule purchase orders uh, you know, on any gate, on, on any day and time. Think of this as a kind of an Outlook calendar uh, where you can schedule appointments for incoming shipments. So you can pick the date, the time, the door, and you can you know, add an appointment to that and it will allow your uh, you know, buyers and receivers to organize their shipments. Okay. Another thing we've added is a brand new point of sale system. So we have a whole new look and feel to the retail point of sale application. Okay, so uh, I'm not set up as a cash register here, but we've added enhanced graphics to it. We've added a, a picture of the product, just an overall streamlined look and feel to uh, the point of sale.
Okay, some other capabilities over in item inquiry. Okay, we now have the capability of not only seeing um, more information on the screen, but we've added some enhanced graphics. So this is a standard item inquiry. We've added some enhanced graphics, just like we did over in the customer inquiry screen, where I can look at things like a year-to-year -year comparison here now. So we're just expanding, uh, you know, the you know, the information and the charts and the graphs and you know anything that you need to see about the item. Okay. Also, this is a great place to take advantage of the folder system. So you can see you can hold a you know a spec sheet on a product here and then easily access it, you know, through the folder system. Okay. So just some great capabilities, you know, in item inquiry. A uh, lot of different things you can do with it here, um, and uh, just more data and more you know options on the screen. Okay, some enhanced graphics in the manufacturing system. So in our production inquiry system, when you're looking up uh, your production history, you can drill into a production summary and then get a graphical representation of how well that production you know, hit its standards. So what were the actuals, what were the uh, standards, and then what was the variance between the actuals and the standards. Okay, so just a lot more capabilities, a lot more graphics. Uh, I think S2K release 6.1 has a lot of great uh, new features in it. This is just a summary of some of them. I definitely encourage you to meet with your VAI representative or local reseller and get a full demonstration of all the capabilities that S2K release 6.1 has available. Thank you.